In this problem, we will calculate the specific gravity of oil in a oil, air, water system. So this is our system right here. This is oil, this is air, and this is water. This part right here is open to the atmosphere. And so we want to solve for the specific gravity of just oil. And in order to do so, we can focus on pressure to actually solve for specific gravity. Now, so we will have two ends. This is one, the vertical of A and the vertical of B. The horizontal pipe has no pressure change, so we can ignore it. So we will focus on pipe B and pipe A. And I'll show you what I mean. So we have PB, the pressure due to the atmosphere for B, plus density of water times G times H1. H1 is the height from here to here. Again, we ignore the horizontal leg and just focus on the vertical of B and A. So this will equal our pipe A, this part right here. And pipe A has more components since we have oil, we have air, and we have water. So it's going to be the atmosphere, so PA, because this thing is open to the atmosphere, they, bo they both are, plus rho water times gravity times our height. So water was from here to here, which was H2. Plus, now we do air. So we get rho air times gravity times H3, our height. From here to here is H3. Finally, plus rho oil times gravity times H4 from here to here. These two will equal one another. And we want to solve for specific gravity. Specific gravity is equal to density of the object. In our case, it's going to be the oil divided by density of water. And so now let's look at our equation. We're dealing with oil, we're dealing with air, and we're dealing with water. And now this is where we need to actually start thinking. So air is about 1,000 times less dense than oil and water. And so we can ignore the air component. So we will simply ignore this component right here because it's about a thousand times less dense. So we can ignore that. And now what do we have? We have water, water, oil. So now this is more solvable. Next, PB and PA are both open to the atmosphere. And since they're both open to the atmosphere, their pressure is the same. So we can cancel this and we can cancel this because it's atmospheric pressure, which are the same. And so now let's rewrite what we have. So we have density of water times G times H1 is equal to density of water times G times H2 plus density of oil times G times H4. So in this equation, we have G in each um, part. So we can cancel G, we can cancel G, and we can cancel G. So now we have density of water times H1 is equal to density of water times H2 plus density of oil times H4. So now we will rearrange. So we can say that the density of water times H1 minus density of water times H2 is equal to density of oil times H4. We can factor out the density of water and we would get this. Density of water parentheses H1 minus H2 is equal to density of oil times H4. And so now we're kind of close. Since specific gravity is equal to density of the object, which is oil, divided by density of water. So now we'll rearrange some more. Since we want density of the object, oil, divided by density of water, we can divide this by density of water and then divide this by density of water. So we would get H1 minus H2 is equal to density of oil divided by density of water times H4. So this part right here is the specific gravity. And so we need to eliminate this. So we will divide by H4 and divide by H4. So we would get density of oil divided by density of water is equal to H1 minus H2 divided by H4. And now we simply need to replace what we have for H1, H2, and H4 to ultimately get the specific gravity. So H1 was 3 minus H2 was 0 0.55 and H4 was 3. And let's just double check. So H1 was 3, 
H2 was 0.55 and H4 was 3. And so using a calculator, we would get 0.82 as our specific gravity for oil. Now this makes sense because oil is less dense than water. And that's all we need to do for this problem.